Hello, hello everyone, this is Chris Hewitt here. I am gonna make a little video and talk about a few things since I have a little bit of downtime right now. I'm actually in Clayton right now. I'm about to get ready for a Spelling Bee rehearsal. Spelling Bee the Musical by William Finn. So it's been really fun. We've been rehearsing for almost a month now, though I've only been involved in about eight rehearsals during that time. So this is like our pre-tech week, and then next week we go to tech week, and then we open on November 1st. And we're gonna have performances until November 17th. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. Um, it's just piano and bass, and the bass is playing some cello lines and just kind of adding a few things, so um, it'll be a nice little, basically a chamber orchestra, if you could even call that for two people. But yeah, it'll be good. I just came back from the Tuolumne area and Twain Hart to visit my brother-in-law, Shane, because my brother Robert just got married to Natalie, and Natalie is Shane's brother. <laughs> Natalie is Shane's sister. <laughs> And so, um, yeah, I just visited him for the day, and that was exciting. I uh, just didn't do much, watched a movie yesterday, and then today went to Starbucks and sushi. So I had some of that, and that was good. I had to have a five-hour energy, though, on the drive here. Uh, it was about two hours, just because I was feeling a little sleepy, and so I didn't want to have to risk anything. So I got myself a great five-hour energy, and I even got a second one. And that was delightful. So I wanted to talk a little bit about... Um, weight loss because it is difficult it is so difficult and um unfortunately i am at another one of my peaks i um had a really exhaustive but very successful journey from september of 2016 until uh, about april of 2017 where i lost 110 pounds this was with the help of my trainer greg and i basically just started eating right i started to do a lot better habits and i really stopped going to starbucks so frequently and if at all and i also stopped going to a lot of fast food restaurants i would have a lot of tuna yogurt i would have chicken and rice and just lots of vegetables and stuff like that and so there were just a lot better things that I was doing. Um, I plateaued for about six months, so from about April 2017 until about October 2017, I was about the same weight. And then somehow in October or November of last year, so a year ago, I just started gaining weight again. And it has been a slight, ever so slight increase of, an, of 100 pounds ever since then. So now I'm back over 300, which really sucks. Um, it kind of sucks just because I can't sleep that well. Um, I suffer from sleep apnea, so when I basically am trying to breathe at night, I get these uh, times where I'm not breathing, and then I breathe a huge sigh of breath, and I'm just like, ah, oh, this is not good. And I can't think that because I'm just trying to breathe and I'm like asleep, but um, then sometimes I just can't sleep, and it's been difficult this last few weeks. Um, and really, it just is like, Difficult to stand, difficult to walk long distances. Sometimes the walking is just horrible, and I just never want to do it. But sometimes I can actually do it. Like when I went to this Evanescence and Lindsey Sterling concert about a month ago, I had to walk like 15 minutes each way from the parking lot to the actual venue, and I did it. You know, it wasn't horrible, but of course I had to do it, so there's that. And, you know, I, I really miss my face being thinner from when I was um, in the in the low 200s. So I'm really hoping to get back on the bandwagon. I still take uh, personal training sessions each week, but I'm just not having the habit where I write down what I'm eating and where I'm eating food that's from a grocery store and making my food and preparing it myself rather than going to like a fast food place. It's just been difficult to do that since I'm on the go all the time, you know, or I just want to go to Starbucks. But I really think that I can cut that habit pretty soon because it just lately the Starbucks drinks haven't been that good because I get too much sugar in them, if you can believe it or not. I get um f five pumps of white mocha and five pumps of pumpkin spice, which is 10 pumps, which is horrible for me. But, you know, that's just what I've been doing. And so I really think I'm going to cut that down and uh, try and just have coffee at home. You know, I can control the amount of sugar so much more when I'm eat drinking my coffee at home because I just put in a certain amount of Cold Stone Creamery, creamer that we have for our little coffee Keurig things. And if I put in just maybe like a couple tablespoons, then it's like 70 calories instead of 500 or 600. So... Boom, that is what I'm gonna try and work on. In terms of uh, YouTube, um, I really, 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 really wanna start making video logs again, like this one. This is gonna be video log number whatever. I have a couple more that I wanna post, and so I'm gonna really try and work on those, and then I just wanna be more regular, once a week, something like that, just get something out there. I'm not really that fancy right now, I'm just filming this on my iPhone, like, 
reverse screen because I don't have a vlogging camera and anything like that, but I want to start getting ready for VidCon 2019. I'm so going to that. I couldn't go to it in 2018 because I was doing a show called The Fantastics. So I couldn't go last year, but I'm so going to go this next year and I'm really excited for it because I just want to experience it and have a little bit of a better time than I did last time. Um, I was a little bit on the, um, I don't want to say crazy side, but I suffer from something where I get a little manic and sometimes I get a little depressed, if you know what I mean. So I was on the manic side when I was at that festival. Uh, I was when I was at VidCon 2017, and uh, it just wasn't really working out for me. I was not doing the things that I wanted to do. I was waking up too early. I was um, conking out by like 4 or 5 p.m. so I couldn't see the rest of the panels and enjoy my evening, and I didn't go with anyone. I really have to go with people to VidCon, and what I want to do is stay in the Hilton Hotel and stay in a big room with like, I don't know, however many people I can bring with me, and we all go together and see the panels together, because it's fun when you're alone, because you can do whatever you want, and you can do things like that, and you meet people, and it's great, but I really want to go with people, so we'll see how that works, um, and then it would be really nice if I did that weight loss journey again, but didn't get to the point where things kind of fell apart in 2017, I had a really bad year, and that's for another video, but uh, I'm doing so much better now, work is going really well, right now, let's talk about work really quick, I got this spelling bee thing going on, and I'm actually just here really early, oh, my watch is like... <laughs> It's like dead. It's on power reserve mode, but it's about 6.30, so we don't start until 7 tonight. And um, I'm accompanying uh, the Alameda First Congregational Church uh, as a choir on Thursday nights, usually. And then we have Sunday morning church services, and that's my morning church service at 10.30. And then I have my normal Catholic gig, which I've had for about a year and three months, so or a year and one month. So I have that. I still have my Ashmole and Singers job, which I've had since last year. That's going really well, even though I had to work out some conflicts with Spelling Bee. Oh, I hate working on conflicts. But they just happen, you know, and you just gotta, you just gotta do it. Oh, I should have had it up here this whole time instead of at the weird angle. <laughs> oh no, this light is on! I don't like it. Okay, so, um, yeah, and then let's see what else do I got going on. Still driving for Uber a little bit. I did like 10 hours of Uber on Sunday, and it was exhausting. I did so many rides. I was so close to getting 40 rides. I think I ended up doing 31. If I would have done 40 rides, I would have gotten a $100 bonus, which would have been so nice, but I didn't get it. So, oh well. So, Uber I still do sometimes. I got my car detailed, which it looks so nice now, and I, I really should try and not eat in my car, but I've already done it like twice since I got it detailed on Friday, but the interior looks great, the exterior looks great, and so it's great for Ubering because it's always good to have a nice clean car for Ubering. Um, YouTubers I still watch, still watch Tyler Oakley. I'm actually in the midst of Shane Dawson's audiobook, I Hate My Selfie, so I'm really l loving that so far. I've listened to about an hour and a half of that just in the car ride today because uh, I love Audible, and everything Audible is so great. Um, I watched David Lade's video, his uh, workout videos and stuff like that. He's like this bodybuilder kind of guy. Um, still watch Jay Meridu. Uh, whenever Troy Savon would ever come out with a video, I'd watch that. i uh, watch Pano Saklas. Saklas. Um, Pano T. His stuff is really good. And who else do I watch? Um, Connor Franta. Still watch him because he comes out with videos occasionally. And, of course, Kevin Lynch. But he doesn't always make videos, and, of course, neither do I. So, yeah, I would love to post some more professional videos, some more edited videos, and some more videos where I'm actually um, putting a lot of time into them and working on my channel, because I think I have 145 subscribers, which is my all-time high, but it would be nice to get to, like, a 1,000 or something, you know, just something where I actually feel like a content creator when I go to VidCon. So, if you are watching this, thanks so much. Subscribe, comment, give it a like, or I just give it a like, give it a comment. Um, this one was talking about weight loss, it was talking about my jobs, talking about spelling bee and all that great stuff. But, um, yeah, I will give you another one of these next time. And until then, have a wonderful, lovely day. Bye-bye.